Hey everyone, we're going to evaluate the integral given and we're using integration by parts. So get started here. Here is the formula we're going to use and we want to rewrite this with a u and dv. So this is the part we have. So I'm going to let this be u and everything else be dv. And what I'm using is this mnemonic device to determine what my u is. And the first thing that I come up with is algebraic. So I'm going to let that be my u. x squared plus 2x. Then everything else, then the trig follows, is going to be uh, dv. So that's cosine x dx. Now I can, uh, well, let's figure this out. So uh, derivative of u is 2x plus 2 dx. And then um, d is the antiderivative of cosine, and that's just going to be sine. So sine x. All right, so now let's fill, fill this out. And uh, we're going to have to do integration by parts twice, and you'll see that in just a minute. Um, so let's fill this out. u is x squared plus 2x. And then we have uh, b is sine of x minus your uh, integral of v sine of x times uh, du, which is um, 2x plus 2 dx. I'm running out of room there. So basically, once you get to that, um, we're going to have to do another integration by parts here because we have two parts. So again, we're going to write our u. I'll just make it a big u this time. So we're going to let u be your algebraic, which is 2x uh, plus 2. And then my d, and I'll make it a big V, is going to be sine x, everything else, equals sine x. And this is dx there. It kind of ran out of room. Therefore, your derivative of big U is just going to be 2 um, dx, derivative of U with respect to x. So you just move that over. And then, so the antiderivative of sine of x is going to be um, negative cosine of x. And so then we fill out this formula again. So when you fill that out, you're going to get um, negative 2x plus 2 cosine of x minus the integral of negative 2 cosine of x dx. Now this part here gives you negative 2x plus 2 cosine of x and then um, this is positive so you get plus and the Derived, uh, antiderivative of cosine of x is just going to be sine of x. Just put the 2 in front, 2 sine of x. So that's your last part that we did. We had to do it twice. Now let's put your final uh, equation in. So your final is going to be the first part we got, which was x squared plus 2x sine of x plus all of this. So that's going to be 2x plus 2 cosine of x minus 2 sine of x plus c. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.